Hi guys, welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignTechTips.com. Oh, we got a great one for you today. We've got a full width, full screen slider. And as you can see, it's got a video background there. Now we've done this before in the past, but we keep getting questions about it. People seem to be struggling with it a little bit, but it's really easy to do. So let's get started. I'm going to enable the visual builder. Or while it's enabled, let's just get rid of this section and we'll start from scratch. Okay, well, I'm going to go ahead and add a new section. Let's go to the bottom of this section. Little blue button to add a new section. Now you can use a regular section if you want to. I'm going to go ahead and use a full width section for mine. Full width sections have a more limited amount of modules you can use. We're going to use a full width slider for that today. And if I roll that up, by default, it puts in a couple of slides. I'm going to get rid of one. And let's go into this slide. Obviously, put whatever title that you want to put in. If you want a button, put what you want your button to say there, obviously. And any content you want to put in, you can put down here. And this is a WYSIWYG section, so you can put text. You can make things into headings. You can bold, italicize, make bullet lists and align stuff here if you want to. I'm going to leave mine just like that. I'm not going to add an image or a video. If you want to add an image, you can add one. By default, it'll put it on the left if I just pop one in there to show you. And similar for a video, if I pop a video in there, It'll pop up on the left side there as well. But I'm not particularly interested in having those the other day as we're having a video background. Now down below we've got a link. Obviously if you want your button to link to somewhere, which I'm sure you do, put any link you want right here. Always best practice if you're linking to your own site, leave it in the same window. If you're linking off site, open it in a new tab. That way your site's going to stay open. Now, if you want the whole module, not just the button to link somewhere, you can put a link in here too. It could be the same link or a different link completely. Same best practices apply. Okay, well, background, I'm going to take that away in a minute so we can see the video when we download it. But before I do that, I'm going to go into the design. I want my content to be a little skinnier than that. I don't want it to go quite as full screen. So if we go down to sizing here, we got content width. I'm going to make mine about 60 VW. So it's 60% of the viewable width of whatever it's on. As you can see, that's brought that text in a bit. And if you want to, you can roll over the dark writing. This is common to all modules, sections and rows. If there's a little phone icon there, you can have different settings for tablet and phone. I'm going to leave mine just at 60 VW. Great. Well, let's now find us a little video that we can put in the background. So I'm going to save my regular settings. I'm going to save my full width slider settings here. For my MP4 video, I'm actually going to go to a, a site called Pexels, P-E-X-E-L-S dot com. Great place for stock photos and stock videos. I put in, I selected videos up here and I put in a simple search for space. And this is what came up below. I think... That was all I used before. And if you put your mouse over one, it'll start rolling. Let's have a slightly different one for this today. Let's have used this one in the past. It's pretty dramatic. Yeah, let's use this one. Now, rather than just hit the download button, I tend to click on the actual video itself because there's different sizes you can download. And because we're doing this natively, we're uploading this video to our actual site itself. Don't grab the highest possible because sometimes they have 4K ones and that's really going to slow your site down. HD is usually plenty enough and that should be two or three megabytes. So I'm going to click on this HD and I'm going to say download select size. Mine's downloading to my browser here. So once it's downloaded, we can go back to our little slider page here. Before I actually add the video, I want to make my slider 
full width, which it is already, and full screen. To make it full screen, let's go into our slider here. I'm going to go over to design and down to sizing. Minimum height, I'm going to make it not 100 viewable height because we've got a little menu bar at the top. I'm going to say about 90 viewable height, minimum height. So 90 VH. Great, and that's made our slider pretty much the, the height of our available screen here. Let's just say that I want this at the top of my page. At the moment, it's under whatever contents there. Easiest way to do that, hit the little purple button. We've got our layers panel button right there. There's our full width section. It's purple, not blue. That's where you can tell. And we've now got it on the top. Fantastic. It's easier than dragging it up over any content there. Okay, well, this is shaping up now. So we want to put our little video in the background. I'm going to put it in the background of the section that it's in. Remember, we've got a full width section. This is why this is purple, not blue. So I'm going to go into the section. I'm going to go into the background. If we roll along, the fourth one along here is background video. And you can use an MP4 or you can use a WebM. I'm going to go ahead and use that MP4. So I'm going to hit the plus, add background video. Here's the video I just downloaded. There's a video we had before. Just going to drag it and drop it up there. It's slightly bigger. I might try and use a slightly smaller file size for that or optimize it a bit more. But that'll do for this demonstration. It's four megabytes. Let's upload that video. Now it's actually in the background. We can't see it because our slide background is on top there. So I'm sure you're ahead of me on this one. Let's save our changes. Going to go back into our slider here, into slide number one. If we roll down, we can get rid of that background. We should be able to see the video through there. Fantastic. Now, that's actually not too bad. I can read most of that. If you wanted to, you could put a slight background on your slide settings here. For instance, if I was to put a black in, it would go black. But if I click on the field, we can drag this down. So we've just got a darkening effect or an overlay over that video just to make that writing stand out a little bit more. And the less opaque you make it, the more that writing is going to stand out. I think something like that's going to work. It's pretty legible. But of course, we can style our heading and our button individually too over in the design here. We've got title text, which is our title text here. It's an H2, that's fine. Just make it a little bit bigger by making it semi-bold. Obviously, you can change the size and the font if you want to. If you've got a crazy amount of font, to audition one, just go in there, roll over it. It'll give you an example. I'm going to leave mine just on the default there. Fantastic. Okay, and button. let's just color up that button a little bit. So still in design, we can close up title. And if we go down, we've got button down here. We can hit the little custom style switch and go style that button any way you want. Button text colors, fine. I'm going to give it perhaps a purple background. I'm going to take it down in opacity a little bit. So we've got a hint of that video behind there. Just click on the field like we did with the black earlier. Pull the opacity down. So we've got a little hint of that video behind that button, giving you a bit of movement there. Of course, styling is entirely up to you. Don't want any border on mine. So let's flip that border down to zero. Perhaps when we hover over it, we'll have it a different color. Common to all Divi modules. If you hover over, you'll see some little dark icons come up. Now we've got a little arrow there so we can create a hover state. Two tabs come up, desktop, which is when your mouse is done on it. But obviously, hover when your mouse is on it. Let's make that blue. And again, we'll take the opacity down just a little bit. So we've got a hint of the old asteroids coming through there. Great. Well, when you're happy with the basic style of your first slide, just hit the little check mark. We'll save it. Take us back to the main slider settings. We can go ahead and clone this because we've got all the styling done. I mean, however many times you want. Go into the next slide, obviously change your details out. 
where you're happy. Save that one. Same for the next slide. And save that one. Okay, here's something that I get questions about all the time. Once we say that, we're back in the full width slider settings. We want to make this automatic so those slides roll around one, two, three automatically. To do that, go over to design, down to animation, automatic animation. I'm going to flip that switch to on. By default, it gives it 7,000 milliseconds or 7 seconds. I'm going to make mine 5 or 5,000 milliseconds. By default, it'll stop if you put your mouse on it. So it'll give him a chance to read it and click the button. If you just want it to continue every 5 seconds, whether they got their mouth, mouse on it or not, you can flip that switch from off to on. I like it to stop. gives them a chance to actually read it and be able to click on stuff. Now, a question I get all the time is, I can't find my automatic animation. My slider doesn't have it. Well, if it's a Divi slider, it does have it. Now, the reason that you can't find it is probably because if we go back to our content, we're in one of our slides. If you're in one of your slides, you go to design down at the bottom. There's no animation down there. So if that's the case, just make sure you hit your check mark, take you back to the main full width slider settings, go to design, animation you'll find it right there like i say that question comes up all the time and it is right there if you need it great well if we're all happy now we should be good to go let's save our changes here save draft or publish if you're ready and let's exit the visual builder and here's slide number one five seconds later it's going to be slide number two. Five seconds later, it's going to pop up slide number three. And as you can see, we've got that video rolling in the background. And although four megabytes is a little larger than I, I do, I think that's absolutely fine. I've got pretty fast hosting. And this, I'm actually running local host on my computer here. We could swap that out for a smaller one and see what happens, I'm sure. You won't see any difference at all. Let's just download the smaller version by going back over here. Again, hitting that little chevron. Let's do standard definition. See if we can tell the difference. And the file size should be almost half of that. So it should be about two megabytes. We've got it right there now. So if we go back to our page and enable the visual builder again. Remember, we've got our video sitting in our section. So it's the purple tag for the full width section. Into the background. Here's our video. Let's get rid of this one. And we'll upload the one we just downloaded. It's three megabytes. So that's a bit more like it. And we'll save the changes. And it's popped it in there fully now. Let's save our changes, have a look on the front end. And we'll get rid of those downloads. Exit the Visual Builder. And there it is with the smaller file size on this particular video. I don't think it makes a whole lot of difference. But with video backgrounds, obviously, the smaller the better. So there you go, guys. There's how to create a full width, full screen slider with a video background. Really eye-catching feature to have on your site. It's going to get people's attention pretty quickly. So I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.